Hello, awesome fossil hunters and collectors. I'm so excited because my daughter Katie is back to do the editing, to help us make some more of these films. I've actually been able to go on a field trip, which I'm gonna show you momentarily. It was upstate New York uh, in the Erie Canal. Yes, that Erie Canal with the mule named Sal. It was, basically the water was low over the winter and there's a specific site there it's very good for a particular type of trilobite. Actually, multiple types of trilobite. I found some really good examples of one of them, which we'll be seeing them being found, we'll be seeing some other people collecting there, and we will be seeing the final uh, prep versions in a little bit. As I mentioned, that it's actually in the historic Erie Canal, specifically where, I can't say I'm sorry, the person who told us where the site is had asked me not to share the site. It's their, their, uh, their fossil collecting site. And when that does happen, you really have to respect the wishes of the landowners and or the, uh, the people who have access to these sites. Um, if somebody does tell us uh, of a particular site and asks us to keep quiet, you know, as a matter of courtesy, as a, um, you know, keeping our word, if we say not to share it, we can't really share it. So I am, going to, I am allowed to tell you that it is at the Erie Canal, but where at the Erie Canal, can't really say. I can tell you that it is Silurian rock. It is rock that's that little bit of time period in between the Ordovician, the, the time period we have lots of cephalopods, right after the Cambrian explosion came the Ordovician with all cephalopods, among other types of creatures, and before the Devonian. And it's actually because back when they were first studying this, they noticed there was a significant difference between the fauna of the Ordovician and the stuff in the Devonian, the age of fish and stuff starting to come into land. And there was another time period where you had a very diverse and different type of creatures uh, living in between the two. So they made a separate time period, the Silurian period, actually named after an ancient tribe that used to live in the area where the first Silurian fossils were found. Some of the things that you can find in the Silurian are those enigmatic Eurypterids and uh, a really nice variety of trilobites. Some that you don't see again, some that make it their way into Devonian as well. So let's take a look at the Silurian fossils of the Erie Canal. And as usual, if you like what you see, please go ahead, give me a thumbs up, let me know it's good. You can also let me know if it's bad, but if you do, tell me. I know a couple of people complained that the music was too loud in some of my first videos. I'm listening, I'm gonna tone it down a bit. Um, if you like these type of videos, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. Uh, when you subscribe, it doesn't cost anything. It just makes these fossil type videos pop up more often in the feed and lets people know that there are videos like this out there. Thank you very much and let's go see the fossils. Today we're heading out to the Erie Canal to take a look at exposure of the Rochester Shale, famous for its Devonian fossils. I've got a mule, her name is Sal, 15 miles on the Erie Canal. She's a good old worker and a good old pal, 15 miles on the Erie Canal. We've hauled some barges in our day. are smart though. So over here my friends Gus Hegret I have found an awesome is it a trimere? It looks like a trimeris, right? Very big one. You can see oh let's see what I shot him. You can see it's a really nice big one. The counterpart is up on the rock over here. Beautiful one. Looks like there's another trilobite over here, although its shell might be gone. 
and counterpart over there, and some more over here, which could be trilobite. Awesome find. Now Gus is conducting an avalanche in B flat. All right, so now it's been buried for 450 million years, something like that. I guess it's gonna turn it over to the find of the century. Um, Is it a nothing? It's, it's, it's a plankton. Oh, plankton. Yes. All right. Silurian plankton. Feast tonight. It's, it's everywhere. So, right over here. I used to the flower in the woods. I don't know what that is. I just think it grows wild like that. Ah, we have a little turtle right here. All right, little turtle. You're fine. You can just go away. I'm not gonna harm you. So, I'm heading back to the Erie Canal. And, well, I'm going back to the chem I went back to the car because I found an awesome Dalmatis trilobite, complete both parts. The section here. Fortunately, I didn't film it while I was doing it. We're carrying it back. Just concentrating on carrying the two halves of the trilobite. But, welcome back along the Erie Canal to our site and hopefully find some more really nice fossils. I don't believe it. I found another one. Look at this guy. Silurian Age. Dominides came right out of this little pocket right here. Roll that, nothing. Pull on the other side. It, and you eventually, if you're in the right layer, eventually you find one. Awesome. So, a lot of work done. Not very many more finds recently. Oh, oh, inside. Okay. Yeah. Can I see your Trimeras? Oh, yeah, see the tent, the imprint here. Oh, is that the, the black right there? The black, yeah. Did you put something on it? Uh, crazy glue. Uh -huh. The shell was really thin and delicate, so I just painted it with crazy glue and walked away, let it dry. Got some material attached. Well, nice find.
like there's a Brocky pot or something. Oh, beautiful. So glad you found one of those. Type fossil for the Rochester Shale. I'm a fossil now. Yeah, you know, I'm so out of shape, I can't believe it. <laughs> yeah, a lot of work at this point. Feels later than two. So, did a lot of work today over in this special place. Did a lot of work. Found a couple of smaller things I can give to my class. But all in all, the morning's fine. It's making more than a good day already. All right, so we are back from collecting fossils up in the Erie Canal with some friends. And these are all Silurian fossils, and I had such a good day. I mean, these are the type of trial bites. If you find one in a day, you consider yourself very lucky. Uh, let me explain what happened. When I brought you in on the fossil, I did first see this little thing sticking out of one of the rocks. I when I brought you in on uh, our collecting. And it is a nice trilobite. And I picked it out of the rock there because now I know at least I had one Dalmites, one nice uh, trilobite from the site. Well, it turned out only a few minutes later, I found one of the best trilobites I've ever found in my life. It is a pretty close to 100% complete Dalmonites. I believe it's a Dalmonites limulus which is kind of curious. That's also the same name for horseshoe crab, so I'm wondering why they're both called Limulus. But it's a, uh, I'll have to look that up and learn a little bit more. So it's a Dalmonides Limulus, really perfect example. I found one, another one a little bit later on. I was kind of afraid my friends are gonna get jealous with all the luck I had. I found another really nice one later on. And this one I prepped a little bit more than the other. The first one, I want to leave it as it is. It really, it has all the original shell on one side and it's pretty much intact. And I'm not going to really do very much to it. This one here is missing a lot of the shell and it was, uh, it's a bit more clear if I actually put a little protectant over the fossil itself. The protectant I used was I mixed clear nail polish with about two thirds nail polish remover and it made a little acrylic I could paint onto the, the trilobite there to protect it and stabilize it a bit. Similarly, I found this trilobite, and I'm not sure which species this is. It could be another Dalmites, but it doesn't really have the same tail, and unfortunately the head is broken. So it's a little bit more difficult to diagnose the species on this one. Maybe if I figure it out, I'll add it into the video. But another nice trilobite. So it was just some really incredible trilobites. Very happy to have visited that site. Very happy that my friends brought me in to see that site. So it was really nice. One of the things I also brought home was, um, I have a nice little bivalve here. Bivalve, just you know, same things that are related to squids and snails and uh, things like, and other mollusks. Well, they're less, very, a lot less common in the Paleozoic, particularly the early Paleozoic. You have much more of the brachiopods and it's kind of actually intruding right through a brachiopod here. But I took this home because it's fairly well preserved and it's a little bit more scarce but great day out there so happy that we were able to see this happy I was able to have you find this and very happy to be able to show everybody this so hope you are uh, having fun out there collecting enjoy and we will see you next time on fossil hunting and collecting